Hi everyone, I'm Renee Kerrigan, Planetarium Director of the Peoria Riverfront Museum, and I'm back with another What's Up video taking a look at Apollo 13. This is the 50th anniversary of Apollo 13, which would have been the third mission to land on the moon. Turns out there was a problem. The crew missed the lunar landing, but they did make it home safely. In this video, we'll look at flight day three, the day of the accident. So on this day, it started normally. The crew was heading away from Earth towards the moon, moving at 3,600 feet per second. The first thing in their day was a TV broadcast giving a tour of the lunar module Aquarius and the command module Odyssey. They didn't realize it at the time, but actually no TV networks were broadcasting their tour. The attention of the news networks would be focused on the mission soon enough. Right after the broadcast, flight control gave the command up to the mission to tell them to stir their cryo tanks. This meant to turn on a fan in the oxygen tanks, the main source of fuel for the Apollo spacecraft and the source of oxygen for the crew to breathe. Jack Swiker hit the button to stir the tanks to turn on the fan and there was a loud bang. Jack Swiker radioed to Houston, okay Houston, we've had a problem here. That was quickly followed by Jim Lovell clarifying, okay Houston, we've had a problem. This is a little different from the iconic line that was in the Apollo 13 Hollywood film, uh, but it, it was what the crew said. They thought perhaps they had been hit by something, but there were alarm bells ringing on all of their control panels. They had lost a lot of their power in the command module, and they soon realized they were venting some sort of gas into space. So they knew something very bad had happened to their spacecraft. They didn't get hit by anything. What had happened was oxygen tank two exploded. This tank had been dropped about two inches well before the crew ever left the ground. It had been inspected by many people. The Jim Lovell himself had even signed off on it. Everyone thought it was okay, but there was a small electrical problem on the inside of the tank. And when that fan turned on, it caused a spark. The flammable oxygen ignited, the tank exploded, and it also caused a leak in oxygen tank one. Without the main fuel, they lost power to two of the three fuel cells in the service module and they soon had no power at all in their main engine. They also had lost most of their oxygen in the, in the command and service module. This was crippling. They basically had a dead spacecraft. The crew would have spent most of their time in the command module and used the lunar module only for the two astronauts that would have descended to the lunar surface. But with a dead engine and a hugely depleted oxygen supply, the decision was made to power up the limb, power up the lunar module. The crew would use that as a lifeboat to get them time to get around the moon and back to Earth and power down the remaining battery power in the command module so that they needed that to get back to Earth safely. The lunar module was only designed for two, uh, so it was pretty cramped conditions, but flight control knew the best chance for the crew to get home safely was to use the lunar gravity to slingshot around the moon and then to return to Earth. Uh, the three crew, uh, three men crew moved into the lunar module. Their condition was stabilized for now by the end of day three, but there were still a lot of questions. How are they going to be able to correct their course without their main engine? Would they have enough oxygen to get all three of them uh, home safely? And uh, how are they going to change their procedures to get home safely? So Mission Control was working around the clock to figure those things out. And the astronauts condition was stabilized, but they were still in very real danger. We'll be back tomorrow with an update from flight day four and five from the Apollo 13 mission. Thank you to our Visionary Society and our museum members for your support for programs like What's Up. We appreciate all you do for the museum. And if you have any questions or a comment, please let us know in the fields below and have a good day.